Hello and welcome to the new moon in Pisces on February 19th or 20th, depending on where you are in the world. Here we are at the end of the Zodiac calendar. We have arrived and this is a great time as we enter Pisces season to look back at the last 12 months. This is the official end of the, end of the Zodiac calendar. So it is a great time again for reflection. Now, Pisces is a water mutable energy sign and it means that it's very adaptable. Um, with the water energy of Pisces, it is very compassionate, very creative, very understanding, very uh, imaginative. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of this inward energy as we connect with our higher selves. It's also very ethereal. It's also very connected with the higher realms. So it is again at the end of the Zodiac calendar where this is the culmination of everything that has been learnt and experienced over the last 12 cycle or over the last 12 months in this cycle, where we gain a lot of understanding around who we are, how much we've changed, more enlightenment. It was the theme of February. So any new realizations, any understandings, epiphanies, awakenings uh, that may have happened is a great time to reflect upon that and make sure to also keep track, write this down because we are in a very, very important time in our greater timeline and even in your life. And it may be a really nice uh, exercise to keep track of what has happened. What were the main transformative experiences that you've gone through throughout the year? Uh, and it will give you guidance and further understanding towards you, the change that you've gone through and what needs to be maybe adjusted or fine tuned or even new intentions to be set as we move into the next calendar for your transformative journey. Now, this new moon, new moons are all about a clean slate, a reset, and this new moon is a super moon, meaning that the moon is going to be closer to the planet Earth than usual. And what this is going to mean with the Pisces archetype is that emotions may surface. Now, during new moons, the energy generally, generally, is a bit lighter than, or a lot lighter than the full moons. And uh, it doesn't always necessarily play out that way either because sometimes it depends on the intensity it depends on so many different other factors we all have our own in energy that's going to get stirred up within us um, but the new moons is the calmest time during the lunar cycle so we have a time to pause we have a time to reflect we have a time to set new intentions and that's why the new moon is very important for manifestation with regards to a clean slate where we get to wipe the slate clean and connect with our the water side of us, the Pisces energy that we have within us. We all have the Pisces archetype somewhere in our chart to connect with the, the water side of ourselves on the creativity, the emotional side, um, and then cast new intentions into the universe based on that connection. Now you very well might experience heightened dreams, heightened sensitivity, um, healing energy. So you might even be compassionate towards your body, healing your body or relationships. There's going to be a lot of compassion around maybe global affairs, um, the collective or around life in general, just seeing things through a little bit of a different lens, a little bit of a softer side, a little bit more of an understanding towards life and ourselves, you know, really starting to come to arrive at a place where we can understand more about ourselves and have greater compassion, awareness, empathy, and realization around what has taken place, who we are, understanding our journey, taking the pressure off and just being at peace being at peace with ourselves, being at peace with the transformation that we're going through, being at peace with our journey. Now, as I mentioned, new moons are all about a clean slate. So it's a perfect time during this new moon to journal, to write down your intentions, to even speak it into the universe, to make it so really connect with your senses, with your feelings. So if we think of all the different zodiac archetypes in the water um, elements, so we have Cancer, which is more of the intuition and the emotions, Scorpio fixed, which is more about the senses and the uh, spiritual understanding or the senses based on deep understanding. And then we have Pisces, which is the, it's the feelings, it's understanding based on empathy, based on compassion, based on the feelings. So connect with your feelings during this one. Use your feelings as your guide. Our feelings, our emotions, the water aspects within us are create, are connected very strongly to our intuition. But with Pisces archetype, this is very much connected with our higher self. It's with the higher realms, the ethereal. So we're going 
going to have that opening available for us to connect with our higher guidance system. So if you feel that you need guidance during this time of this new moon for your direction or what you're wanting to manifest, ask for it. Clear the channels and allow for the information to come to you. Allow for synchronicities to find you. Allow for those ideas and those creative insights to appear within yourself. Get out of the way. Our mind needs to get out of the way of this process because it's very important. The creativity aspect for our manifestation journey and our personal development journey is essential. When we are able to create, that's where our ideas come from, that's where our inspiration comes from, that's where our creation comes from, to create projects or to create um, things that we just enjoy doing. Even relationships, you know, creating healthy relationships, creating um, abundant lifestyle, you know, this is all part of the creation process. So we really need to tap into that ability that we have within ourselves, especially during this new moon is going to be very, very beautiful for connecting with our creative side. So remember, we are conduits for higher knowledge, higher wisdom, energy, information is always coming to us, but our mind, our stresses, our fears, our limitations, our limiting beliefs constantly get in the way of that. And that's part of doing this work. And that's why I'm here to help you got to help guide you through dismantling those old limitations and barriers and beliefs so that you can be a stronger conduit for creativity, for manifestation, for law of attraction, for all the good stuff. Now, as I mentioned, some of the strengths of Pisces, some of the main archetype traits are creative creativity, compassion, understanding, healing as well, and going with the flow. And when we go with the flow, it's always good, I have to say though, it's always good to have a, a knowing of what you want. If you need to put in more time to be productive, put in more time to be productive. If you need to set goals, set goals. But also energetically, and through our senses and intuition, we need to go with the flow. We need to get out of the way by having fear limit us, by having resistance of any kind, the lack, the stress, the pressure that we put on ourselves. We have to let it go and trust and move into that flow with one, with the universe, within ourselves, with our ability to create. That's a very important aspect with this archetype. And because it is at the end of the zodiac calendar, it does have, it holds a lot of the energies of all the preceding zodiac archetypes as well. So it is very aware, it is very in, in tune, and it can integrate all of those lessons that we've gone through into this moment in time. So that's why it's really important to look back at the last 12 months and see how far you have grown. What has happened? What has changed? What insights have changed within yourself? What are you seeing differently? How have you changed? And go deep, go into your soul, go into the practical, go into the mindset, go into the emotion, senses, and healing aspect as well. Now, the shadow side, of Pisces. Remember, we have this archetype all within us. So we also need to pay attention to the shadow aspects in order for us to create change. Now, the shadow aspects can be pessimism, can be escapism, avoiding reality and conflicts, can be laziness, you know, falling into too much of go with the flow, not having maybe an action plan or the right systems in place to be productive, and also can be very gullible and secretive. All right, so on the gullible side, we can also all fall into that as well. If we are very trusting, if we're very um, compassionate with Pisces is a very compassionate energy. So if you are a compassionate person, it is very important to be aware of boundaries and to do your due diligence and use your discernment to check through situations and people and commitments before saying yes or before trusting someone maybe fully right away. So during new moons, I like to journal. I like to write down my new intentions, what I would like to manifest and create for the next lunar cycle within the next month or beyond. It could be even a projection into 2023 if you'd like, um, but it is all around the creative aspects. You know, creative could be healing as well. And I also like to light a sage to clear out the old energy and to set new intentions, clean slate, saying yes to new beginnings, giving thanks also to everything that has been learned and experienced from the past, integrating all that knowledge and wisdom and understanding into this present moment and to get ready for a new cycle. Now, I also, of course, I mentioned this many times as well. I love salt baths during both the full moon and the new moon. So it's just a nice um, way to cleanse old energy, to allow the old energy to wash away. And then when you step out of the bathtub, um, you can put your feet on the new reality that you're wanting to step into and feel it. 
feel it, especially with this beautiful new moon. Feelings are so important when we manifest. We have to feel like we're already there. We have to feel it and believe it in our core, in our soul being. And that is going to allow us to connect with our future reality. Also some really great um, subconscious belief reframing exercises are to speak into the universe or you can say it to yourself within yourself before you go to bed and when you wake up of what you are grateful for or what you are living in. For example, I am so passionate about my future and my direction and all the success that I'm going to create. You know, you can, you can reframe it the way you like, but it is very much of reframing the mindset into a positive and constructive mindset for living in the future as if we're living in it now. So I am grateful for all the abundance that I'm creating. I'm so grateful for all the opportunities that are finding me today. You know, these things do really, really help reframing the subconscious, setting ourselves into our future reality, and we can reframe our mindset. And I've said this before many times, our brain and our mind and our beliefs become so hardwired. So these exercises really do help chip away at those layers of old belief systems so that we can open up for more. So the best times again, as I mentioned, right before going to sleep in bed, and even if you wake up in the middle of the night, go back into that way of thinking or back into that belief. And then first thing in the morning, right when you're waking up, just go right back into that um, belief system that you've created. And really feel it really feel it is is the big one this may also be a really great time to heal relationships i should also mention healing relationships around this time may also come up as a theme healing conversations healing your body you know really getting again in touch with your feelings around yourself around other relationships um, those who are close to you maybe family members this may be a theme during pisces season and around this new moon or if you're wanting to set intentions around healing specific dynamics or the energy um, attachments to those relationships definitely set those intentions because the healing will be a very significant component of this new moon. All right, so I hope this is serving you well during your manifestation and transformation journey. I'm wishing you all the best during this new moon and beyond. Until next time, I will be seeing you very soon. Take care.